I want to encourage you, what I've found over the years is when we prophesy, then what happens is there's a corporate word that comes out and any one of you that wants to receive it can sit and he can write it down and he can be blessed by the corporate word that the Lord is releasing to all of us. All right, so uh, I want to first start to uh, uh, minister to uh, Jayanti. Uh, so the Lord is speaking to you about the winter season and then the, the summer season. And I saw a big tree uh, with old leaves and they all fell to the ground. And you felt really sad because you felt the thing that really looked good and worked well in my life all stopped, all that leaves fell to the ground. But the Lord says, do not fear because although you're going through the winter season, I'm going to bring summer to you and you're going to see a new growth in your family, in the ministry, and even in your, your finances. How the Lord is going to bring a new season of growth and blessing into your, into your, into your life. And so therefore you don't have to worry or to fear. Um, the, the function of, of winter is a rest season. And so the Lord says, enjoy the rest because a very busy time is coming ahead of you. God bless you. Amen. The thanks word is for Layla. I'm just reminding everyone, please stay till the end because we are going to do communion. Um, so Layla, the Lord shows me how there is going to be a fresh outpouring in your life. The Lord is pouring out in you something new that He wants you to birth, something that He wants you to to break through, something that He wants you to release. I, I see this this there's a release that the that the Lord is giving to you, and He wants you to to start to give to open up and release this amazing new light that the Lord has for you. Be blessed. Okay. Uh, Layla, the Lord has given you a crown of joy and a crown of authority. And He's wanting you to walk in that. And I see how you walk into a place and instead of grey, uh, there's colour that the Lord is bringing into your life. All right. God bless you. I just want to make sure, uh, Shannon, is it recording? Yes. Okay. I just wanted to make sure. So family, we are recording. Uh, this video that we're doing tonight and so what we're gonna do is uh, tomorrow I'll see if I can get a chance to just take this video and just load it up with the names uh, onto the internet and then we'll have a video with great sound that we've recorded right now so you can just look out for that I also want to remind you every single person that put their name on the list I will minister to them whether we do it tonight or we do it tomorrow so do not fear uh, if you want to receive ministry, just write your name on the list uh, and I will make sure that you receive ministry. So I already have about 15 names of pe people that put it on the comments. And so um, uh, I'm going to sit tomorrow with Kimi and we're going to minister uh, to, uh, we're going to start ministering to that list. So that's that's the plan. Okay, so I want to minister to Tasha Nai Salter. Okay, Tasha Nai, uh, the Lord is pouring out His Holy Spirit on you. And just like the prophet Samuel poured the oil on the head of David, so I come tonight and I just take the oil of God and I release it onto your life. And I feel that the Lord says, I've anointed you from a long time. I've called you from a long time and I'm putting my anointing on you. And that's both for your healing and also for your uh, uh, kingly anointing that's on your life and the Lord says I have called you as a leader I've uh, called you as one to walk as an example and one that has the life coming out of your mouth and I see now the Lord is adding his um, authority his power and his anointing upon your life and I, I, I saw a gate uh, of the creativity of God open in your life and I just feel the Lord says you're going to see 2025 is going to be a river that's going to flow out of you God bless you Amen, Please leave us a comment. This next word is for Christine. Christine, the Lord shows me how you need to grab a hold of this rope, of this vision that the Lord has for you. Grab a hold of it and do not let it go. It's almost like it is the, the thing that is steering you. It is the thing that is going to guide you. When you grab a hold of what the Lord has called you to do in this season right now, it's like the oar to paddle the boat. It's like the steering wheel to to guide you. I really see the Lord wants to give you guidance. So grab a hold of that. Be blessed. Okay. Uh, Christine, God's hand is upon your life. Uh, uh, you are an uh, intercessor and I want to ask anyone on the, on the team today that want to receive prayer, uh, just write your name in the comments and then if you see a name in the comments, take the time and pray for them, bless them 
if you see something when you pray, write them a, a message in a comment and say, the Lord is showing to me that this is what's going to happen or I prayed and this is what I experienced. And just let's encourage and bless one another. Uh, and I know it takes a little bit of time to, to, to pray for someone else, but it's good for us to do that. All right. So Marika, uh, the Lord has called you as a leader, but not as one to walk by yourself, but to walk with others. And I see just like people with a hook with their arms into the, the people on their left and on their right. I see how you hook into the people next to you, especially in your family, uh, as a team, and how you walk together, and how you overcome. And so the Lord says that I'm going to help you to build the team. And, and the word says that how good and how blessed is when the brethren dwell together, because there I will command my blessing. And the Lord says, I'm commanding my blessing over you, and over your family, over the ministry, over the business, and also over uh, the health. And I just see how the Lord is putting His open heaven of blessing over you and your family. And the Lord says, this is not a time to be frustrated and to say, but it's, uh, you know, I'm struggling with this and that. This is a time to declare life and to say, but this is what God is saying. And the Lord is going to use you to bring life into your family, especially through your declarations. God bless you. Amen, Marika. Please leave us a comment and thanks for this for Joban. Joban, um, I hear the Lord saying that He's going to use you to help feed His people in a way that is giving them the word. The, like, I'm reminded of the Bible verse that says, like, the God, um, the Lord feeds the birds of the air. How much more would He, would He feed us? Would He care for us? And I hear the Lord. I just see how, how you are going to be somebody that the Lord can trust, that the Lord can equip, and you will be a good steward to help feed His people, to help bring revelation to His people. And that is going to come through through hours and hours of just quiet time with the Lord and, and growing in that knowledge. And I just see how you share it. Be blessed. Hey, Joban, God bless you. Uh, the Lord has really made you to be strong. And, and I see words that ask, uh, being spoken of your life about being weak, but the, the Lord is shattering those words uh, through His power. And the Lord says, you are strong, you are an overcomer, and you will grow like a mighty oak tree. God bless you, uh, Jobin. Okay, Dawn, uh, so uh, Dawn, the Lord has made you a spiritual covering, uh, a mother that takes care of the chicks, uh, a mother that speaks life and encouragement into people's lives. Uh, and I felt that the Lord says, I'm giving you healing. Healing is your portion. You're not going to lie down, but you're going to rise up in strength and you're going to run. And just like the youth, uh, their strength are renewed. So in the same way, the Lord is renewing your strength, even in your life. And so I, I see how the Lord is filling you up with His strength, and with His power, and with energy and a joy like never before. God bless you, uh, Dawn. Amen, Dawn. Please leave us a comment. Thanks for this, Edgar. Edgar, the Lord chose how he, how he gives you an axe and how you are in front of this field of, of trees and how you cut these trees down and then you create things you build houses and how you and how you just how you are have fire and you are kept warm but I also see how how you are how you grow more trees so I, I, I just see the Lord say is don't stop sowing after you have re reaped the harvest after you have reaped all of the amazing things don't stop sowing because otherwise otherwise because <laughs> otherwise there won't be any trees and then there won't be any more like like overflow in this sense be blessed okay Iger, god bless you uh Iger, um the the lord's hand is upon your life uh, alpha uh, i see uh, the fields and they are ready for the harvest and how the lord puts a sickle in your hand and how you go out and you bring the harvest even into the kingdom and the Lord is putting a mighty evangelistic anointing on your life. He's giving you a love for people in the world, for the down and out, for the person that are broken. And the Lord says, I'm sending you and you're going to bring them out. And I'm even going to prosper you and your finances so that you can have resources and extra so that you can help people. And so you're not going to just be someone that has compassion, but you're going to have someone that has resources. And you are going to have the skills and the know-how and the wisdom to help people on the long term and to give uh, long term solutions. The Lord's hand is upon you. And in the Bible, I'm reminded of Daniel. And Daniel had the wisdom of God on his life. And that's what the Lord is giving to you too. God bless you. Amen. Let's thanks for this for Christina. Christina, the Lord shows me how you are smelling these beautiful flowers. And, and I just see how there's so much love in your heart and how you just share this love. 
and that and the Lord shows me how you are just going to um, receive so much love because you give so much you give so much love and the Lord says that you will have that you will have a strong covering that you will have people to to lean on and you don't need to fear that I just see how the Lord like sends people maybe people you haven't spoken to in a while they are just going to come and, and bonds are going to be are going to come back together be blessed yes all right uh, Christina uh, God bless you okay so Jane uh, the Lord shows me um, how a diamond is formed through compression okay so when you have uh, layers of coal and it's deep on the ground and you got the pressure of the earth on it then it forms little diamonds and then when they dig that diamonds out obviously it's uncompressed but then it stays in a diamond shape and I felt that the Lord says even in your life and in your family there was a lot of pressure but now the Lord says, now I'm bringing my, my miner, if I can say it like that, and they're digging that diamond out, and the diamond comes out into the open. And now everyone can see the beauty of the glory of what God has done in your life and also in, in the lives of your family. Then the Lord shows me branches, and the branches has very heavy snow and ice on it. And the Lord says that snow and that ice that you see on the branches is a... Um, is a picture, is a prophetic decree of God's blessing that is releasing on you and on your family. And I believe this is also a corporate word for every one of you that are here tonight. Um, I feel it's going to snow a lot. And as the snow comes and it sits on the branches, it's going to be a picture of God's supernatural blessing that is being uh, in all the nations. God bless you. Amen, uh, Jane. Please leave us a comment. This next word is for Shambaga. The Lord shows me how how He's going to bless the works of your hands. But not only that, I just see how how the Lord asked Moses to take off his shoes because he was standing in holy ground, and like our feet, that and our feet absorbs so much. And I just see how you are standing in the presence of the Lord, and you are just absorbing. You are like a sponge, just absorbing everything that the Lord, everything that He says. And I just see how the Lord is enhancing your memory that you don't forget what He tells you because life happens and, and, and things take up space. I just hear the Lord saying that He's going to, to give you clarity on His Word and you are just going to absorb it fully. Be blessed. Okay, St. Boga, the Lord shows me um, Esther in the Bible and how she was beautiful and she was made pure. Uh, they put all that oils on her and prepared her and she could stand before the King. And I believe that the Lord is making you beautiful and He's putting His oil on you. God bless you. So, Mariette, uh, the Lord uh, has called you as one to stand as a gatekeeper, to be an intercessor that stands on the wall, to declare God's word. But now the Lord shows me a very strange picture. The Lord shows me how you stand on a wall as an intercessor, you're praying, but then the Lord brings you cows. And then the cows produce a lot of milk. And so now all of your intercessors has milk that stands with you and i believe the milk is a picture of that fat of that anointing of the the supernatural provision that god gives to you of his word uh, and the lord says you are going to declare the word of god and it's going to come out like pure milk and it's going to bless each one and you're going to be accurate in the way you you declare the words god bless you Hey Maria, please leave us a comment and say what is for Jacques. Jacques, the Lord shows me how he is just giving you vision for your future. Like a telescope, he is just he is just really enhancing it for you. And even I even see how he's how he's just cleaning the lens so you see properly. The Lord says that you must have faith and, and, and be joyous for, for your future. Do not think it is a time for, for mourning or for, for a lot of pressure on you. Or, but think of it as this is a new season for me that I can release something that the Lord has planned for me because He has planned your steps. He has ordered your steps. Be blessed. Hey, awesome. Uh, Jock, uh, the Lord shows me a vehicle that has been stolen. Uh, and I felt this vehicle uh, was... Uh, one of the first first things that help you to go from where you were to this place but the Lord says that I will be faithful to um, have the enemy repay seven times back to you uh, what he has stolen and so you don't have to fear you, you can trust in God you're going to see uh, the Lord is going to bring abundance of provision to you he's going to bless you in your finances and, and I just see an overflow like a, a golden cup that overflow with new wine 
And so that's a picture of God's blessing, but also of His revival and anointing in your life that's overflowing. Oh, hey, God bless you. His kingdom is going to come out of your life. Oh, hey, God bless you, Jock. Uh, the Lord loves you very, very much. Okay, Elon, uh, the Lord is, is talking to me uh, about um, uh, uh, the apostleship that the Lord has given to you. Now, uh, we always think of an apostle as a very high, mighty leader that's got a lot of churches and people that they govern. But an apostle is usually a person that's young uh, and goes out like a missionary and go and minister to people, go and tell them what God is saying um, and, and spread the gospel and build and help people to be established. And I just felt that the Lord is calling you to be established and He's going to send you uh, as a missionary. He's going to give you the provision, the anointing and also that that hunger inside of you, that desire to serve the Lord as a missionary. And I see how the Lord puts that apostle, that apostolic anointing on your life. So that you will not only go out, but you will also have the power and signs and wonders on your life. God bless you, Elin. Amen, Elin. Please give us comments. This next word is for Johanna. The Lord shows me how He's making you firm in your faith and in His word. That He is just that He's just um um assuring you that His word is true and that um. I just see how the Lord is going to reveal things to you. Like I just see signs and wonders and amazing things. But the Lord says it, it starts with faith. And even if one person believes, if two people don't believe, and I just see how there's a clash. The Lord says come into unity in your home, in your community, in, in your church with what the Lord wants to do. And I really see how it will be done and miracles will be will happen. Be best. Hey, hey, you honor God bless you. A family, I want to remind you. Uh, please write your name in the comments. Um, I'm making a list of, of I, I, if, if I could, I would love to have 50, 50 names of people that would like to receive ministry because I want to make, uh, um, I want to make a recording of where I minister to you. And so um, the Lord gave me a mandate. Uh, it's like about the 10th of September. Uh, and the Lord said to me, I want you to every day minister to people. So that's what I've been doing. And that's why uh, I sometimes run out of names. And then I have to like, uh, somehow the Lord just miraculously give me someone at once ministry. But he said to me every single day. And so that's why it's wonderful for me if there's extra names so that I can minister to them. So the next person is, is Janice. Janice, the Lord is putting anointing of healing on you. And I see that, that uh, smell, that discerning of spirits, that gifting. Uh, to discern and to know which is the right way and i see how the lord says that you you're going to come across crossroads and you're going to have decisions to make but you're going to have the peace of god that uh, reigns in your heart because you're going to have discernment you're going to clearly hear and see which way it is to go and the, and the way that you've come is not the same way you're going to go so that's in other words it's going to be a change of direction but it's not going to change your life that's going to upset and uproot everything the lord says this is going to be a course directional change that i'm going to make but i'm giving you my word and my discernment and i'm healing you before all of those things happen god bless you amen this next word is for petronella petronella i hear the lord saying that he wants you to come into a time of stillness and and just of of, of, of hearing his voice and it's not necessarily waiting on his voice because I, I really i hear how he is speaking to you and right now he just wants you to receive what he is saying and i also just see that there's this this beauty this this radiance that is coming off of you the lord just wants to remind you that you are so beautiful that you are so valuable and only his words can uh, assure you of who you are and he is saying wonderful wonderful things about you be blessed Hey, Peter and Nala, um, God bless you. Amanda, I see the ring of God uh, on your finger. All right? And how the Lord says that He has made a covenant with you and that He is giving His resources to you, but you are also giving everything in your life to Him and you are walking with Him and He is one with you. And the Lord shows me how you walked with Abraham, how you walked with Noah, how you walked with Enoch. And the Lord says, how am I I'm walking with you? And every day uh, when you talk with me, I hear you. And I enjoy spending that time of intimacy with you and to help you to cultivate um, the intimacy that you have in your heart and in your life. And so the Lord says, because of that, and because you are special and precious to me, the Lord says, I'm now releasing a fresh new river of life 
into you and it's going to flow through your life in a mighty mighty way and the lord shows me a picture of like the amazon river uh, how it just goes into the ocean and you know that you can have for many many miles into the ocean still fresh water because of that force of that river and so in the same way the lord says i'm putting so much of my anointing on your life you're going to see a force where the kingdom and the life of god is going to flow into your family members and into your house and into the people around you and everywhere where you go people are going to feel, uh, smell that fragrance of the aroma of the lord on your life god bless you Amen, Amanda. Please give us a comment. This next word is for finished. The Lord shows me how you need to pick up the pencil, you need to pick up the pen, and you need to start writing down. And even if it's songs or, or poems or stories, but, or even just just downloads that the Lord has given to you, I, I just hear, put it to paper and, and put it on your wall and let it be a reminder of what He's saying to you. Even scripture, I just see how, how you take scripture and you put it on your walls and, and how when you wake up, those are like the first things you see. And then how you say it, like in first person, I am I am wonderful and, and I'm strong and wonderfully made or something. But you take, you take the scripture and you proclaim it over yourself, but start writing. I don't know what it is, but start writing. Be blessed. Uh, uh, Finesse, uh, I, I agree with Kimi. Uh, he's a, he has a big call upon your life and he wants you to make that change in your mind to know but where the Lord sees me is far higher and bigger and more influential and more impactful than I could, could ever imagine. And so the Lord is giving His blueprints into your life. But it all starts with desire. So what you do, you desire God and then as you desire Him, then He starts giving to you His blueprints and the resources that you need in your life. And so there's that scripture in uh, I think Psalm 37 verse 4 it says delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart but what it actually does he first gives you the desires and then he gives that desires to you so that's so it's, it's like a double double implementation the Lord loves you very very much finish now uh, family I want to remind you um, every single name that we put on the list Shannon is sitting there and she's making a list for us and uh, I'm gonna sit I'll maybe see if I can find Jan also then he will help me and then we will uh, minister together but we will minister to every person that put their name on the list but right now me and Kimi wants to take communion so uh, I want to I want if you could uh, to take a piece of bread and I'm just gonna break it because the body of Jesus was broken for us all right uh, and so uh, what I want you to do is I want you to take that piece of bread all right um, I'll go for it uh, Rachi. okay awesome uh, I want you to take that piece of bread uh, and I want you to bring it before the Lord. All right. Now, uh, God has sent His Son Jesus to die for us on a cross and Jesus paid a price. And every single area of lack that any person can verbalize on this earth, Jesus paid for that. All right. So there's not a sickness, there's not poverty. Uh, there is not um, a bad self-image or uh, depression uh, or uh, any form of um, uh, trouble that you can experience in your life that Jesus didn't pay for on the price, right? uh, on the cross. And so you can make a trade with Him. You can say to the Lord, Lord, I take uh, my life and all my brokenness and I give it to you. And Lord, I come now and I receive uh, the, 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 the healing uh, the provision, uh, everything that you've given to me through the cross, even the blueprints. And, and, I, and I really sense that the Lord is releasing to a lot of you in this season blueprints and pictures. And so if you can, take time and write down the things that the Lord is speaking to you about uh, the, the things that's going to happen in this next year. Okay, but let's take the bread together. Lord, thank you for your body that was broken for us. And today we take all our own brokenness and we give it to you. We make a transaction. And Lord, we receive right now the wholeness that you give to us. Lord, we receive healing. We receive blueprints. Um, we receive provision, financial provision. And even uh, healing for relationships in our lives. Lord, authority. Uh, Lord, uh, you are giving people in this world authority. You're raising up men and women in your kingdom. To bring heaven to earth and so lord we say yes lord we will we will walk as lords and kings in your kingdom 
All right, let's let's go eat and take the bread. Okay. Water and your fun. All right, you can have that one. All right, so next we want to uh, receive the blood of Jesus. So I just want you. Uh, we we got water here tonight, but if you got juice, it's also fine. So Jesus, thank you for your blood, and Lord for the covenant that we can make with you, the new covenant that we can receive, Lord, also for the words that you speak over our lives. And Lord, we come into agreement with what you are saying. And Lord, we receive the blood of Jesus to wash us clean from all our sin, to make us pure, to protect us, and also to release vision and blueprints and destiny on our lives. And so Lord, we receive all of that in this new covenant with you, Lord. We love you so very, very much in the name of Jesus. Family, we love you. You are amazing. And, and I want to tell you, this next year is going to be incredible. The, the things that the Lord is going to do in your life um, is, is far beyond what you can think and imagine. The blessing that the Lord is going to bring, uh, going to, bring to you is going to be incredible. A lot of you, the Lord says, you're going to go from a status where you have a middle income to the status of being a millionaire. Just because the Lord's blessing is upon your life. A lot of you are going to come from a place where you struggle with your studies to a place where you get your, certifi <clears throat> where you get your certification. Because the Lord is upon you. He's with you. He's going to strengthen you. He's going to help you. I love each one of you. And uh, Kimi also love you. Have a fantastic evening. <laughs> God bless you. Thank you for joining Unity with Heaven. Remember to subscribe, like, comment and join our newsletter. If you want to support us, please click on the PayPal link. May God bless you abundantly. Remember, you are valuable and we love and appreciate each one of you. If you enjoyed this content and you want to see more, please click here.